think uh, I'm not gonna mention their name, but someone tried to get Innovation drunk after WCS Season One Finals when he showed up to the <laughs> after party, and everyone, every Korean there is like, no, 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 Innovation, he no drink, he drink very bad because he uh he very Christian, he cannot drink, please. <laughs> I like the accent, that makes it. It makes it more believable. Yeah. Which actually did happen, by the way. <laughs> I believe you. Not... Alright. All right. We are spawning on Destination. Uh, this is just ported Destination from Brood War. Uh, exact as possible rush distances and geometry. As but we not could the tile get. set. Tile set? Oh, very volcano y. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's like it's like the evolved version of the Brood War destination because it used to be water. Now it's all volcanoes. It's like after like volcanic eruption happened at destination. But let's introduce our player spotting in the top side as Blue Protoss. The score is now one one. He did win game number one, but he died to Biomech in game number two. His name is Axiom Crank. And at the bottom right, Acer Innovation taking it back one one. Our Red Terran. Ooh, gas right off the bat. Going straight into one base play. Hmm. Yeah, so it seems like it, Crank does not want to die to any shenanigans from Innovation. Instead, Innovation is saying, you know what? I'm going to be fine no matter what I do. I'm just going to scout a little bit later than my opponent, and it's going to be all good. Something you need to notice is that Ace Innovation didn't even put his barracks at the ramp. He is he put it down as soon as he could. Didn't even wait for the SUV to walk. Mm -hmm. Well, just not having the barracks at the ramp means that he want. I mean, it's obvious that he doesn't want to wall off. But you also have to count the fact that this means that he's going to rely on his marines early on in the game to defend against the attack. But it seems like he actually canceled the second marine and just going for the factory right away. His opponent, however, is going to get inside the main base, so he's going to be forced to build a build extra marines before Crank says, oh, you know what, you don't have any marines, I'm just going to ram up, I'm just going to rush up the ramp with all of my dragoons. Alright, Crank looks like he kind of wants to hide something at the top left, he doesn't have a pile on over there, so we'll keep an eye on there. Uh, the goons are about to come out, oh, okay, it's going to be a really quick Twilight Council again. So we could be seeing a repeat of his first build. And this is really amazing. This was really good by Crank. Excuse me, because he saw the SCB go inside the main base. He just saw it left with the ramp. He's gonna have the dragoon finish pretty soon, so he's gonna deny scouting completely. Especially since there's no Reapers and Starbo, so this build is gonna go unscouted unless, unless Innovation decides to scan inside the main base just to see if Crank is going for something cheesy. Straight into the tech lab. So this speaks to me as he's going to be going straight into tanks again and just using his marine bio that he seems to really favor. Uh, we haven't seen vultures I mean, out, and yeah, this tank. I mean, you do have to realize no, realize that back in Brood War, this was the standard opener for Terran players against Protoss. The fake double. Getting up to five, six marines out, getting a siege tank, getting a vulture, possibly with a spider mine, pushing out on the map, pressuring your opponent, and punishing one gate expand plays while also getting a command center for yourself while pushing out. And this is really, this is pretty much quote unquote the standard, especially on a map like Neo Destination. Mm hmm. Where it's a really hard to just gamble on getting your fast expand. Yeah, so he has four marines, he has a siege tank, that's gonna be great against any early dragoon pressure from his opponent. While Crank in this game Innovation is actually getting down yeah. his expansion. And what's interesting and, is how how ele elements of things like the stalker mix that up. Well he's already got one, he's crawling at another two. And these stalkers can just Ah, they're just so good at poking. Uh up and down close and up and down bases. So yeah, that look, certainly mixes things up. Oh, but did Innovation see the soccer move out? I just could not press the V at the very last second, but I think he has a good idea. He's going to have the SCB sinking inside the main base. That's going to get denied by the Dragoon. He does see the natural expansion, but because Crank did not start out with a Robo, he has no way of defusing the mines. However, he can still do a lot of damage with the Blink Stalkers that he has right now. He's CC Vision up on the high ground. He's going to blink inside the main base, and Innovation has no clue. Oh, they just take down SCVs so fast. 
Yeah, this is really paid for. Innovation saying, you know what, I'm not going to die to the same stuff from the last game. However, this time around, he is not pushing out with the siege tanks. He does have the siege tanks back at home to defend against the attack. Now, the question is, how much damage can Crank do before all oh, these what? stalkers get taken out? A lot of damage has been uh. done so far. Nine SCVs have been killed, and these stalkers with the built-in blink, all they have to do is sayonara and just blink out of there. Even he's going to pick up another two. Oh, man. But you do have to realize that at the same time, Crank does have the natural nexus, but he does not have any units for detection. I feel like he should just ram down with the Dragoon, but he's actually clumping up the Dragoons. Not a great move by Crank. Of course, oh. he can take out the one Vulture. He target fires the Vulture, uh, so he didn't even uh, he didn't even aim with the mines for the possibility yeah. of that, uh, defusing accidentally. I feel like he should have just ran down one Dragoon and then have the these rest stalkers, just walk They're out. still doing work! And all those <sighs> SCVs are already hurt, so even just these three Stalkers are going to pick them away quite quickly. Four kills, oh, seven man. kills, nine kills on these Stalkers. Well, and they're they finally going to leave. <gasps> oh, and then the natural uh, Goon Squad is coming in, and the tanks are pinned at the main... One siege tank sieged up, so that'll deny the stalkers from busting in. But these goons are going to go to town on some SEVs. And behind this, with Innovation pulling all the tanks to the front, he can just blink back into the main base and start picking away on the SCVs. And behind this, Crank finally stabilized at the natural. He has the natural okay. up and running. He has to start get out, which means that he can be annoying as possible with the Sentinel or go for fast Arbiter place, which is which was quite popular on Destination, especially since it was harder for Protoss players to take a third base against Terran players who's, who ha actually has the natural double bridge secured. Arbiter Tribunal. Aw oh, man, Crank's play is just so tricky. But yet again, he's got so many different tech paths, but at this point, uh, the SEV count has just been dwindled so down that Innovation just doesn't have that big army that could just go and end the game like last game. So, Crank is just in such a much better spot than last time. And someone just asked in the chat, how did he blink in that base just like this? Stalkers. Without any vision. Stalkers, they have high ground vision in Starbo with the blink built in. They're really weak against Mech Army, but they're really good against Bio. And you can see right now, just <laughs> picking up bastards. the SCV. <laughs> I think uh. this is the point where we say, even in Starbo, Protoss is an Emba with the Stalkers. Well, I mean, generally the, the, the most common notion is that Stalkers are underpowered. It's They're just harder to use. Uh, they're, they're not a straight-up fighter. They're, they're trickier to use than your average unit. Where Goons just feel a lot more natural. You just build a bunch of them and you kind of aim them around, throw your weight around. Where Stalkers, you have to be just so much more careful with them. It's really easy to just lose a bunch of Stalkers and then, hey, you invested a bunch into some units that aren't so quite good at head-on fighting. Well, Crank, you gotta pay attention. He's gonna pick up one Siege Link, but he's gonna lose a Dragoon for that. And these Dragoons are really low in HP. He needs to start migrating, hiding as much as possible against the Vultures, while Kuna boosting out as many units as possible. There is an Arbiter out on the way, but as long as...